morning, thanks for joining me. I hope everybody's well and having a good week this week. Today I have for you a try on of some dresses. We've got some occasion sort of dresses and some more casual dresses. I think there's six in total and they come from a company which is new to me called Roseway. I think we pronounce it like that. Apologies, Roseway, if not. But um, that's what it looks like anyway. They have been sent to me. I'm not being paid for this video. And all opinions, as ever, are my own. You will get my very honest review on what I think of them. Now, Rosewe is not a plus size specific company. It is size inclusive, I guess we'd say. It goes from small sizes all the way through to, I think, a UK 24, 26, something like that. So it is all that everything I'm going to show you comes in all the sizes. Sometimes I think when you get companies that do this rather than specifically cater for plus size women, the sizing and the cuts aren't great for us larger ladies. But um, we shall see. We shall see. I always say at the beginning of these videos for anyone new around here, firstly, welcome. Thank you for clicking on my video. Um, I am five foot three and I am approximately a UK 18 to 20 on the bottom half and a 22, 24 on the top half. And I usually buy around a 20 in dresses, although obviously that varies between brands. I will, of course, put all the links and info down in the description box. And I'll just mention as well, because I know somebody's going to ask me, the top that I'm wearing at the moment is from Yours Clothing. I think it was last year or the year before. I will, if I can find it, I'll pop a link into the description box. And um, obviously I'll put all the info about the rosewee dresses as well, also in the description box, along with any discount code, etc. Right, let's get started. The first dress I chose was this blue sort of knee length. Um, it's got a V-neck and sort it's got a sort of a V-neck underneath and then a wrap part on top of it, which is quite nice, which means you're not going to get too cleavagey. Uh, it's got a zip at the back and it's got this sort of rather nice cape detail on the back, which I really like. It's fairly straight um, and it's got a, sort of a cap sleeve effect. It's actually a sleeveless thing, but with the cape bit over the top. Love the colour. It's sort of a chiffony fabric, no stretch in this one. It is lined, um, and I ordered this in a 2XL, so let's see what it's like. Right. Now, this actually looks quite nice from this angle. From the front, I, li I like the length. I think the length is a pretty flattering length. I'd probably have it, if I was being really picky, a little smidge longer, but the length is actually okay. Um, I feel like the top part is flattering and although it is quite, um, you know, clingy over my stomach and my hips, somehow the floatiness of the top bit sort of balances it out a little bit. Now there is a slight issue, um, haven't done it up. I, I think it probably would do up, but if I do it up, I'm worried I won't be able to get it undone again. <laughs> I, actually, I, I can't do it up from, um, the, the angle is just not good for me. It just doesn't work. And um, yeah, so I haven't done it up, but, but I've, I've sort of clipped the um, capey bit together. So you get an idea, so it's not falling forward. But um, I, I think it would do up, but I think it looks nicer from the front than the back. Um, uh, I think it's quite a flattering shape for my figure. Um, I'm not sure how much I love it from the side. And it's got that thing a little bit where the back is riding up, not massively, but just a little bit, which is one of the issues that I do find when you get a size inclusive range because they're not cutting for our larger bottoms as they get to the bigger sizes. Um, I like the color though. So overall, not a bad start. Next, we have this lovely lime green, uh, very much in my comfort zone this style. It's sort of a V-neck, sort of a wrap style top, then with a slightly fuller skirt. It's got this um, fixed on belt or sash on both sides. Um, and when it came, it was very, very creased. This I have steamed the front, but I haven't steamed the back and I haven't done the front very well. I was a bit time poor when I was steaming. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure whether this would tie at the front or the back. We shall see. I suspect probably the back. It, it, um, I like the sleeve with the little frill on. Not a massive fan of the fabric. It feels very polyester. It's, it's okay, but I think because it's so creased, I would worry that it's 
going to be a very creasy type of garment once you've got it on but I love the colour and um, I love the sleeves again I ordered this I think they're all in a 2xl I can't see a size in that one but I'm pretty sure I ordered them all in a 2x okay this one has no fastenings it slipped over the head really easily um I quite like this one it's much more in my comfort zone in terms of um how it feels I love the colour I think the colour is a good fit for me or suits me I should say fit for me um looks all right from the back and the side um the top is a little bit gapy I haven't fiddled too much with it but I feel like it's um I have got a camisole on underneath you could probably um sew it or, or you could just wear a camisole I mean it's fine it's not 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 exposing them or anything um I love the sleeves I think the sleeves with the little frill are nice not sure about this belt situation so the belt sort of comes out like this and I did it round the back and then tied it at the front you could of course do it the other way as well um but I'm not entirely sure what that adds to it and um, I suppose it does nip in the waist a little bit um but yeah I like this one the fabric again as I said initially slightly concerned about the creasing issues with this one um but overall I think it's a pretty dress I would definitely wear it right this one's a bit of a wild card I think it was the colors that drew me to this um I I love the combination of the green and the yellow, the big bold colour block, and it comes with a separate yellow belt as well. Um, the fabric on this one does have a little stretch. It's a slightly roughly textured fabric. It's not jersey. Um, it's got a side zip on this one. I like the pleating of the skirt. It does look very long. It did look long in the picture as well. I think it might drown my me my five foot three short ass figure, but. Um, I do like it, so I feel like the sleeves might be a little bit tight as well, but let's pop it on and see. Well, I don't think this is the dress for me. Um, I think it's a bad selection rather than a bad dress. Um, as I said, it was very much the colours that drew me to it. It's too long for me. It's not meant to be a full length dress. It needs to be sort of mid calf, I would think, because it's much more of a day dress than an evening dress. So the top part I think is okay. I like the V-neck. I like the contrast belt. I, I like. I don't like how it's lumpy and bumpy around this bit, but that's me rather than the dress. I don't think the fabric is particularly a flattering fabric for plus size. Um, but yeah, th this one's not for me. But as a dress, I think on someone taller with a slimmer figure, I think this dress would be stunning. I, I really do like the dress, but I just, I, I don't like it on me, unfortunately. It's just, it was a bit of a wild card anyway, so it was interesting to try it. Next, we have this blue dress, a little bit similar to the first one, um, but with pleating detail on the bodice. It hasn't got the cape detail at the back, and it's got the lace insert panels on the skirt. And it's, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you'll know that I am a big fan of the high-low um, dress higher at the front and longer at the back I feel like for us shorties they are so flattering and a good way to wear a dress that is a little bit more eveningy but doesn't drown us completely um, this has got a back zip it's sort of a chiffon fabric it feels nicely made this one um, it's fully lined and again it's a 2xl oh I rather like this one now again we've got the issue with the zip at the back it would do up but um, I've left it open because I can't do it up by myself without help. And if I did, I probably wouldn't be able to get it off again. And we'd have the whole scenario with a delivery man arriving and me being in an evening dress. So that would be no good to anybody. Um, notwithstanding the zip, I really like this dress. I like the fact it's sewn here. It's got a little stitch just in there. So it's not going to gape in the bodice, which is perfect for me. I like the sleeves. I love the colour. It's, it's sort of a turquoise, I guess you say. And again, I just love this shorter at the front, longer at the back scenario. I just, I feel like it's such a flattering shape for shorter people. Um, I just, yeah, I, do you know, I feel like the fit of all of these is on the 
tighter side than I would probably naturally go for but I think it actually looks better from the front I feel like they are um yeah quite ne <sighs> despite my lumps and bumps um I feel like they are you know probably make, make me look more of a, a better shape so to speak um yeah I'm like, I like this one okay brace yourselves for the worst of the bunch probably <laughs> Not going to lie, when I unwrapped this, my first thought was fancy dress. Um, this looks quite cheap. And I, it just, I don't know what it is about it. It looks better in the picture. I mean, obviously, it is a very sparkly, very evening-y satin type of dress. Um, I think I liked it because it's like the short dress or the knee-length dress with, the again, the longer part to go at the back. Um, it feels and looks quite cheap and tacky to me. Um, I, I was disappointed when this arrived. I don't want to be rude, but um, it, it does feel, um, yeah. Let's try it on. I might be absolutely taken with it, we shall see. No, no, and thrice, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, th this is just, it's just not for me. Um, fit wise it's okay it definitely fits um, it's not too big not too small I, I don't like the satin skirt at all um, yeah it, it just no that there's unfortunately this was a bad selection there's really I don't think it flatters me I don't like where the skirt underneath sits I feel like that should be a little bit longer the bit on top looks superfluous um, the fabric's horrible. Just yeah, this this one's just not for me. Final dress of the day. I've gone for something a little bit more daytime. Um, this is just a red dress, V-neck, wrap sort of style. It's got a separate belt, pleated skirt, um, belt loops. This one is not lined and does look a little bit see-through to me. But uh, we shall see once I've got it on. It's. Um, it's got a little bit of stretch in the fabric. It's got um, elasticated sleeves, which I'm never very sure are particularly flattering. Um, I went through a period of thinking I quite liked them, but I'm not sure I do at the moment. Um, but yeah, can't be worse than what I've got on at the moment on the plus side. <laughs> we started with the good ones, we've ended with the not so good ones. This one is too small, I would say. It feels like it's squashing my bust. Not quite sure what's going on with the sleeves, the sort of puffy bit at the top, and I feel like they're very unflattering. Um, I think this dress is probably, I've just caught myself and myself sort of sideways on in the phone camera there, um, and, and it doesn't look good. <laughs> Should we do it just quick sideways, um, back? It, this dress suffers from the issue that I was talking about at the beginning of this video, which is that some dresses just do not stack up to being made in bigger, that it's about the cut, isn't it? And the waistband doesn't sit on the waist with me on this one. It's got sort of an elasticated waist, but it, it seems to sort of go, it's very odd. It's a very odd cut, this bit here. Uh, the sleeves don't, lengthwise it's good, not too bad lengthwise. The fabric's not great. Um, but yeah, again, just not for me this one, I don't think, but not a bad dress per se. Probably if you were smaller and bought a smaller size, this would be quite a good dress. Right, that brings us to the end of today's try on. Thank you to Rose Wee for sending the dresses over. I think we had two good ones. I liked the turquoise high-low dress with the lace insert panels and I liked the very first blue one. Both of those felt nice. I also liked the lime green one but I wasn't a massive fan of the fabric. Um, the colour block green and yellow, loved the dress but just not on me. Um, the, the green eveningy dress, that, that was not a good one. And this one again, I think perhaps on someone with a lot not plus size I think a smaller size of this dress would be very pretty so yeah so some hits and some misses today I hope you enjoyed this um I haven't got any more try-ons planned but I would like to do some more so let me know what shops you would like 
um, try-ons from and um, I will get some more lined up for you. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.